All right, we are at AL56, and we have Team Golf Girls Potsy versus uh, SM. I don't know what that stands for. Uh, SM Hoodie. I don't know either. It's just on, on uh, Smash GG. All right, I guess we'll find out. Inkling Dittos. Let's go. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can ask any person who plays any character. They will tell you that the Ditto is not fun. Um, so this will be interesting. Um, not a lot of back airs, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of, of the Bowser Ditto. Interesting. I've That's the first time I've ever heard of someone liking the Ditto. It's and just, I mean, if you it's like just it, haymakers. This is fun. If you like the Ditto, then that puts you at an advantage, because yeah. I don't think anyone else does. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Hoodie off to an immediate lead. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of walling out Posse, it seems to be. Oh, I need to switch him around. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, I like the idea. Uh oh, roller. You gotta be. You gotta be on the mashing on that. Yeah. All right. So both the kill percent. Both uh, the inkling as a character kind of struggles to kill, especially if you're outside of booyah percent. Yeah. Uh, so I'm interested to see how that will go about. Uh, both of them will be cognizant of roller because they both have it. Oh, nice. Nice edge guard, calling out the roller. I like that idea. Nair, very safe on shield. Uh, only problem is that it's very tiny. So you just gotta be wary of that. Oh! He was right, he was right off stage. He just couldn't get there in time. That was an interesting way to cover uh, cover the, the roller. Mm, well, it was actually Potsy's roller. Potsy oh. rollered it and then Hoodie covered it with the other, which I thought was interesting. That's true, yeah, because that's the worst thing. Right. Burying is one of my least favorite mechanics, yeah. but that's neither here nor there. Uh, keeping the keeping the lead trap going. Okay, so I wonder how Ink plays out in this matchup, just because other than Jab, I can't think of uh, Inkling being slow enough to get hit by things like Bomb or by like Splat Gun, especially with such a low dash. Um, all right, setting up the ledge trap. Interesting way to cover. Okay, so I don't know what the booyah percents are. I would assume that both players are or would know and um, are good at the setup, but um, I'm not entirely sure when that comes into play. Interesting. I don't know if it messes up knockback. Um, I know that I know that it does with damage, but I don't know if it messes oh, up I knockback. I thought, I thought it did I, uh, theoretically. I mean, theoretically, if it messes with damage, it would also mess with knockback. So that makes, oh, okay. He got hit by everything. <laughs> Through the entire kitchen sink and it worked. Okay, oh, whoa. Okay, not only is the string good, but uh, he is covered in ink, which means that any more neutral wins will do way more damage. This is where Inkling really excels, just putting on that pressure with intense movement. It was like 10 seconds, it was crazy, that's what, Inkling is really good at, and that's what, what uh, gave Inkling such a great reputation at the beginning of the game. Um, slowly falling down on the tier list, yeah. but um, still a, a respectable character. Nice parry. Great punish. Very doable. Mm -hmm. Especially because of, po of, of Inkling just struggling to kill. Okay, so setting up the ledge trap with the bomb. Always on the platform. Oh, that was good. That was good. I really like the slap bomb at ledge because it essentially forces um, a strict timing out of your opponent. Because if you hang on ledge, then you get hit by slap bomb. Right. So you essentially it essentially eliminates timing, and all you have to deal with now is what option they pick. Which, granted, Inkling doesn't have huge hitboxes, so he can't cover everything at once. But I guess that would be the point. If you could cover all of it and control the timing, then Inkling would not be going down on the tier list. That's that's what I would expect. Yep, this makes sense. Um, I had to guess this was uh, a comfortability thing at the beginning, just because um, is comfortability with the character. But I do believe that uh, Wolf's uh, superior hitboxes and kill power would give him an edge in the matchup. Jab getting out of the quarter. Nice, nice string. He's just not letting up. He's just in his face the entire time because of Inkling's uh, not necessarily poor amount of escape options, but just tiny escape options that Wolf can outspace or straight up beat with his superior hitboxes. Okay, in the corner. Interesting idea there. Okay. Did you hit 
hit them out when, when they're split like that, or? I believe so. Okay. I believe so. You just gotta be weary of the grounded hitbox. Yeah. Okay, just going for the safe move. No need to do the down smash, because basically everything kills, or at least we'll reset. Okay, not sure how I feel about that air dodge, but it worked. Down tilt or F or down angle F would be better? Uh, so... I would, I would think, I would think uh, down angle uh, F would be better. So, I believe that down tilt is, is safer. So, if you miss it, then you can continue the ledge trap a little easier. Uh, F tilt, uh, you know, lasts a little longer, does a little more damage, but if you miss it, then there are chances for reversals, or at the very least, you know, letting them back on the stage. Woo! Threw him out of there. Okay. Interesting. I like the reflect. Okay. Let's see here. Controlling the space with the gun. That's really what gives Wolf another edge on this matchup. He can get just control what type of game we're playing. If he wants to play the long range, he's got the laser. If he wants to play the in close, he's got the hitboxes to contest. You get the gun box, dude. Oh, okay, what's up? It's so good. Probably one of, if not the best projectile in the game. Unless you count items, I believe Turnip and Banana would have a claim to that, but I guess it just kind of depends. Uh, okay, setting up the ledge trap. Bomb maybe a little bit too early. Uh, I guess it just kind of depends. Ooh, dash attack. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, that move does everything. It combos, it kills, it goes far. He really does. He's got the J's. Okay. Oh, almost got that cheesy, cheesy down smash at 23. Probably wouldn't have killed, but it's, it gets pretty close. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, nice A cancel to uh, avoid the tech chase. And that was good. That was a nice spacing. Knew he was going to come in. Knew he was feeling the pressure. So he just walked back F smash. Very good use. Okay. Interesting. Trying to close in the pressure. Off stage. That's, this is where. Mm -hmm. Oh! Good back air. That back air does everything. It, it files your taxes. It waters your crops. It's so good. Ugh. It does it. I don't understand why they, they nerfed Wolf like three separate times and they did not touch that move. <laughs> They're like, this is fine. I know Hotsi has a pocket too. Pocket Mario. Pocket Mario. Interesting. I know it's because he's holding out against me at the promised land. After I put it with Bowser, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's so nice. All right. Taking it to Smashville, um, I believe that this is one of, if not Inkling's best stage, just given um, the platform is very uh, good at extending combos and it's basically available at all times. Oh yeah. Yep, there it is. Okay. Whoa, nice tech chase. Getting a big combo. In the ledge trap, that does one of those places where Inkling does kind of struggle is getting off the ledge just because he doesn't have gigantic hitboxes to get off the ledge with. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Interesting bomb. Maybe a little too close, but um, maybe there's an idea there. Okay. Ooh, missing the back air on the neutral getup. He was right, just mistimed it. And he's inked. Gross. Okay. Oh, I think he might be outside of Booyah for sense, possibly because of Rage. Okay, just getting the ink on. Okay, there it is. It's so hard to get around that. If you wait too long. Yeah, no, it's very, it's very tricky to get around. And um, I think a common nice anti-air. Calling out the jump, said that you're not going to throw out an instant aerial. I think you're coming in with the landing one, and I'm going to stop you right in your tracks. No mix-up, just up air. Nice parry. Okay. Trying to get something started. Ooh, big back air. Doesn't matter where you hit it, it kills. Especially on a stage with small blast zones like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, both characters. Are you doing a good job there, not letting that 
Mm -hmm. Just get in the kill when you can. And that's one of the things that Wolf is really good at. Just like, just stray kill power. Just like whatever moves, just they just work. And they're safe. Okay. Uh-huh. Because it definitely makes you slower, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, if that would have hit, that would have been big. Okay. Oh, trying to set up the frame trap, just misspaced the grab a little bit. Oh, oh no. I think what's I think what's going on is that whenever Potsy throws down bomb, he's choosing neutral getup to avoid the explosion. And Potsy's caught on, and I think he's abusing that to get kills. So something that Hoodie hopefully is caught on to. Okay, Potsy just waiting for Wolf. He's like, all right, I know that you've got big hitboxes, but you're slower than me, so I can just move around your space. And, ooh. All right, last stock, game three. Mm-hmm. Wonder if Hoodie can pull it out or if Potsy will take the lead and abuse it. Okay. Oh, he was right! He was right! Okay. Off stage at a ledge trap position. Okay, this is an even game. Okay. Oh, nice catch with the air dodge. Ah! I don't know if he was calling out that option specifically or just thought he was coming with the landing aerial, but he gets the kill. Potsy taking it 2-1. Good stuff to both players. Super fun set.